Hello everybody and welcome to our Tech Tuesday tutorial number 27. Today we delve into a hidden feature in Google Drive, sharing expiration. Well it's good to be back after a long break so let's just jump right into it. So what exactly is sharing expirations you might ask? Well it's the ability to set the access to a document or folder so that the permissions expire after a period of time. You can grant people viewing or commenting rights to something in Drive and it will remove that access at a time that you specify. This is great because you don't have to remember to go back and remove access to files or folders. It's perfect for educators who may want to give students access for a school year or maybe you're working with a temporary team and you've got seasonal employees who need access to the project files. I should note that this feature works only with Google accounts through work or school. It does not work with personal Gmail accounts. All right, so how do we do it? Let's get started. First, you should know that you can do this with either folders or individual files. So you want to right click on the item that you want to share and restrict. So you go to share and then you click the advanced button at the bottom right hand corner and it will show who the document or folders are shared with. If you hover over a person's name, you'll see a little stopwatch icon which lets you set the expiration directly. You can also set the expiration by pulling down the editing menu and choosing set expiration. Notice here that it says view access only. So it's important to know a couple of things here. Expiration dates can't be set for people with edit access. If you set an expiration to someone who already has edit access, like this one right here, then they'll only be able to comment on the file. If you change someone's access to can edit after you've set the expiration, the expiration date will be removed. But you set the expiration date and choose how many days, either a week or a month, or even a custom date that you would like for this uh, to end. And at that date, they will no longer have access to this file whatsoever. Save the changes when you're done, and you are done. That is it. These files or folders will expire for that person at that time, and you don't have to worry about it anymore. Okay, so that was nice and quick. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. And if you did, go ahead and uh, click that like button. Heck, why not support us and click that subscribe button. Share this video with your friends, comment in the comment box below, and we will see you guys next week. Bye-bye.